We'd like to inform you that due to repeated or severe violations of our community guidelines, your YouTube account, Yulia Boryczka, has been suspended. I published my first video on June 21st, 2017. Around July 2018, I started being consistent with producing content, which resulted in my channel's growth up to over 1,000 subscribers. Soon I was gaining around 100 subscribers weekly, which for a small YouTuber like me was a dream come true. And then I've hit 4,000 hours of watch time. Hey guys, we have something to celebrate. I don't know how to start this video. There are fair chances that you guys don't remember me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I am aware that the 1000 people subscribed to this channel may not see this video. And then there are also people who already know what happened that are gonna watch this video. And then there are also people who got their channel suspended and they're trying to get their channel back as well. It's possible, so stay till the end because I'm gonna give away some answers. As you probably can see, my channel is up right now. And it wasn't for a period of at least six months. Um, yes, so that happened. Let me just kinda summarize all of it. When it comes to my YouTube career or like whatever we want to call it, it's not really a career at this point, but the last video that I successfully published on this channel was on November 1st, 2018. After that, shortly before November 25th, it was on the same day that I hit 4,000 hours of watch time, which, you know, wasn't that easy to get. Like, it was not easy at all, it was just difficult as fuck. Which meant my channel was ready for a review for monetization because I already had over 1,000 subscribers. I hit 1,000 subscribers and then one week later I gained another 100 and that was when YouTube suspended my channel. The same day I got an email from YouTube that basically said that my channel got suspended due to spam scams and commercially deceptive content. And there was a link where I could see what they were accusing me of, but like in very general matter. And then also another one for appealing. I was really looking through this, I didn't see my fault. All I knew was that I don't feel like I did anything wrong, so I tried appealing. And because I didn't want to go through this on my own, I googled how to appeal to get your suspended YouTube channel back and what I found out was that many YouTubers throughout the last year and like even a year before that were experiencing the same thing that I experienced six months ago and the majority of YouTubers know that YouTube obviously can suspend a channel but in their own terms of service they state that it's only after a channel received three strikes for breaking community guidelines or copyright guidelines and after receiving three strikes YouTube has all the rights to kick your ass out I didn't have a strike, neither a copyright strike nor the community guidelines strike of course I appealed because it seems like a reasonable way to you know solve a problem I basically quoted their own terms of use I was also repeatedly stating that if only I knew I make a mistake I would never let that happen again and I would, you know, take the video down. I would do everything to get my channel back. So after I started googling the subject and I found out that there are so many people dealing with this, there were also many people who got their channels back. It was never too appealing. It was always through reaching out to YouTube or people working for YouTube. On other places like Reddit or Twitter, one or two days later, I got a response that basically said that fuck you Julie, we don't care and I kind of feel like no human is actually reading this maybe I'm overreacting but considering that none of these people got their channel through actually appealing through this appeal form maybe the situation has changed right now but back then it was like this and as far as I know right now yeah it still hasn't really changed I was quite confident in knowing that if I don't see my own fault and um you know I usually know when I fuck up Things, then maybe this is really just a algorithm mistake. I seen it happening to other people so I knew that I wasn't alone with this. It just seemed like YouTube had its loopholes through which innocent people would be accused of breaking their laws. People that actually got their channel back and were you know posting a video about it to YouTube and also on places like Reddit or Twitter people were basically writing that people called trusted flaggers helped them get their channel back. 
These are basically people who work for YouTube and flag the videos that are not supposed to be there. This whole thing is kind of schemy because like nobody really knows like what who, who are those people or at least I don't know. But they have the power to, I don't know, like do something with your channel to push it to a second review. Contacting those people gives your channel another opportunity to be reviewed for YouTube to see that they actually make a mistake. And that's how majority of those people actually got their channel back. Well, <clears throat> there was this one guy called Trusted Flagger Ben, you can find him on Twitter, that was helping people for the longest time ever. He helped so many people, so many people were, you know, talking about him on these forums, you know, like treating him like God or something. Shortly before this happened to me, he decided to take a break. I don't know, maybe he was fired, maybe he was on vacation, I don't know, but I've been checking him out right now and he's still not available. He's not doing this anymore. The one person that people referred to was currently away and wouldn't answer DMs. <laughs> so at this point, a feeling didn't work, trusted flagger band didn't work. I had moved on to looking for other trusted flaggers and I was DMing people on Instagram, on Twitter, basically spamming through all of my platforms in all of the ways that I could. My mom was looking for trusted flaggers, like it's... It Finally, after some research, also with the help of a few YouTubers that actually got their channel back, I started talking with those people as well and I was actually very surprised because these are people with thousands and thousands of subscribers and they still had the time to, you know, answer my tweets or my DMs and we actually had a conversation and they were actually trying to help me, which was so nice. One of those people gave me the name of a trusted flagger that helped him get his channel back. So I wrote to this guy, he answered and we had a brief conversation, very nice conversation, he was so nice, he just asked me some questions and after talking for a while he just said that I shouldn't worry, he will see what he can do, it just, you know, told me to stay calm and stuff. So, you know, I did, I was so happy that I finally got to a trusted flagger that, you know, responded to me because around like 20 people didn't and then hit it. I wasn't really sleeping through many of those nights just trying to DM people who are, you know, in different time zone than I am. So yeah, that was also interesting. That was my December, everybody. That was that was my New Year's. But then, um, after he, I don't know, reviewed my channel or like pushed it to be reviewed, he basically came back to me with a DM saying there's nothing he can do because my channel was rightfully suspended. And I was just like, like what what are you saying like what i mean um he basically told me that it was because of the amount of comments that i left around youtube it seems like it was just too many comments which is i mean if you think about it it's just kind of freaking stupid i got suspended because of writing comments it, huh? I was being an active user of your platform. And let me just uh, tell you here real quick that I never wrote a comment like sub for sub or something like that or that's a nice video, come check out mine. I never did that shit. I can't understand like how... I mean, no. I can't understand why a channel would be suspended for writing comments like this, but I can understand why a person could get a strike for writing spammy comments like sub for sub. There are people all around YouTube writing those comments. I mean, we all know those people. We all secretly hate those people. Like, just a little bit. I don't want to be a hateful person, but you know what I'm saying, right? These are just these meaningless comments that all of us get. Same on Instagram. How many comments daily do you guys get from people on Instagram? That's a nice shot. By the way, check out my profile. Right? And there are people on YouTube doing the exact same thing. And due to YouTube's community guidelines, these kind of comments are not cool. Like, you can't write those comments because you will get a strike for them. But I didn't write such comments. I can only admit that I was active on the platform. Back in that time, I was also actively talking to people through Instagram that also had channels, thinking about collabing with other creators. That's where I was before this happened. Never would I think that I could get punished for being active on their platform. I'm even more mad at the situation, mostly because I have this policy with myself that I never thumbs down a video. Same about writing mean comments. I, I never do that. It's not that I like everything that is out there. It's just that if I don't have something positive to say, I just don't want to spread that negativity. I know how cheesy that sounds, but I just, I've been like this for years now and I just don't do it. So I'm 100% sure that all of the comments were, you know, genuinely nice things because I don't write mean things online. I just, I just don't. Even when people do stupid shit. <coughs> Logan Paul. Yeah. 
I just don't <laughs> having this policy with myself for years now and now having someone say to me that it's because of writing comments that my channel is suspended it's been months since he told me that and I still think it's nonsense he basically told me that there's nothing he can do I was like please give me a second chance I won't ever write a comment again which I probably would break that promise I was just trying to get my channel back right so this guy that was basically my last hope told me that there's nothing I could do a monk trying to contact trusted vloggers I was also spamming YouTube team on Twitter if you're experiencing a problem with YouTube it's much more likely that they will help you solve this through Twitter than through you know actually like YouTube support it's counterintuitive I know my dad was telling me that I should just call them but I was like find me a number to call YouTube I mean I I don't know like also, I'm anxious when talking through phone, so maybe that's why I didn't pursue it. But you know what I mean. Among trying to connect with trusted vloggers, I was also actively spamming. <laughs> yeah, this time actually spamming. This is what spam looks like. I'm writing to YouTube a few times a day for them to, I don't know, respond to me, give me something to work with. It was another example of a situation where I don't think that a human read this and if a human did read this they just copied and pasted an answer that they were telling everyone in the situation and wasn't really helpful at all youtube conversation looked something like my channel was rightfully suspended and i appealed but it didn't work could you help me please and they were like try appealing no, you can't even appeal twice, you can only appeal once So I did that already Nobody really cared, nobody gave a shit And all I knew from Reddit and YouTube videos was that I had to contact a trusted flagger Which I did and it didn't work So as I said, this was my last hope I got into the New Year's basically knowing that there's not much I can do Somewhere around looking for the trusted flaggers I decided to create another channel Just for the purpose of letting people know what happened So I filmed a video on what happened I'm gonna link it somewhere I probably go way more in depth there about what happened But we just don't have the time today for that And after this trusted flagger told me that there was no chance in hell That I would get my channel back because he doesn't have the power to give second chances So fuck off Julie He didn't say that, he was actually very nice I'm sorry for how I'm depicting him It just hurt dude, okay? I decided to not sit and wait and just kind of do something I took the videos that I was most proud of from this channel and I re-uploaded them to the new channel and when I already knew that there was no chance I could get my channel back I decided to put all of my energy into that channel which didn't really work for me as soon as all of my batched videos were uploaded I was really not happy with the situation I filmed many videos I just never edited them or uploaded them even if I edited them I'm not gonna lie I have a video from a week ago where I basically whine over how hard I am with this YouTube thing it's been six months as I already mentioned and I still haven't really coped with that you know it's also easy to use as an excuse if everything else isn't going the way I wanted it to go I can just be like YouTube thing didn't work this also doesn't work like nothing ever works for me why is it so hard to be real? yeah it's just easy to make excuses where you can depict yourself as a victim Not everyone does that, but I definitely do And I'm really trying to beat that habit because it's freaking annoying for me and for the people around me But whenever I would pick up that camera, I would make self-deprecating jokes about how I lost all of my community and how nobody was looking for me What YouTube does when channel gets suspended is basically they write everywhere that this person who had this channel was a bad person please unsubscribe they did spam they did scams they also did commercially deceptive content unsubscribe 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 i can see how me being in a situation where you know like go to my subscriptions and then i see that one of those people are you know a very bad person because they committed spam scams and commercially deceptive content whatever the hell that means I still don't really know i would probably unsubscribe because that's how my faith in youtube worked it doesn't anymore but I yeah, it did. Now that I got my channel back, which we are getting there, I promise we are getting there. But it's just that now, over the course of these six months, I lost around 100 subscribers. That's at least what analytics tell me. At this moment, this channel is very like 
weird and like for example i don't have a single thumbnail on my videos fast forwarding this period of six months i stopped posting to my second channel i've gained 85 subscribers i was not that happy a few weeks ago something changed in my behavior i guess and i started having these amazing ideas flowing to me and i started organizing those ideas i stopped planning like on what day i want to upload a video I was mostly just focused on the ideas and you know developing those ideas that's the best way of working for me not putting too much pressure and then also filming quite a few of them i was basically having fun and i remembered what i loved about youtube so much and i started connecting the dots kind of thinking about what i could do with this channel maybe try to grow it or whatever and i was in a very good place for quite a few weeks which i feel like that's when good things happen when we are already in a good mood you know not thinking about life too much just doing our thing that's when good things happen that's at least my observation for some reason i don't remember how i don't remember what i was oh wait i do remember so one night a few days ago i was scrolling through youtube and then in my recommendations there came up a video of a girl that basically said that she got her channel suspended she quoted the same email that i got and was basically in the same situation in that video she put a screenshot of her conversation with youtube team something hit me and i just opened twitter found that girl and looked for that post because i just kind of wanted to see what they told her and if it was any different from what they told me at this point i didn't really think that it was possible to get a channel back but i was just kind of wondering like what did they told her if something has changed or whatever i really don't know why they did that but i go to this post and there is obviously a link from youtube and there they were being you know not that helpful they said something to her briefly and then placed a link to the guidelines that she was you know violating so i opened that link having you know nothing to do on a monday when was that in that moment i saw that youtube has changed their guidelines and their terms of service they haven't changed the guidelines but they have changed how those guidelines are presented to the creators they're much more helpful now than they were back then they basically give examples to every point you could possibly break there is an example of how that violation looks like also under every single one of those guidelines there is a statement if you broke a youtube's guidelines first things first you would be notified through email then if you repeated the violation you would get a first strike and then if you did repeat it two more times then youtube could suspend your channel so what i got from that was just that it's even more obvious now that i had no right to suspend my channel for some reason i decided it was a great idea to share it with youtube one more time and i tweeted them my channel was suspended which is against their own terms of service appealing didn't work could you do something about it for the first time ever, YouTube actually responded in a way that was very freaking helpful. I'm not trying to belittle the helpfulness of YouTube at that moment because they were very freaking helpful. But at the same time, you know, it took them six months to do so, so I think I get the right to be a little bit mad, right? I mean, I'm more grateful that I am mad, but... I don't know who that person is, but he or she responded to me, asked me to send the link to the channel that was suspended, so I gave them the link, and they asked me for patience. I decided not to make a big deal out of it. I didn't tell anybody about this. I just, you know, kept it a little secret of mine. I think it took them just one day. I woke up around three o'clock because, yeah, finals are in pretty, and I had a lot of shit to do. And I take my phone and I have a notification from Twitter telling me that they decided to reinstate my channel. It all ended where it started with me trying to find help on Twitter. I just want to say that I think YouTube make huge amount of work to show people how violating really works. You can violate the terms if you're not even thinking about it. I don't know if it's a beginning of a new era for YouTube i really hope it is i'm happy that the situation is resolved i finally got my channel back my camera took another nap i'm very grateful that while being in a good state of mind i just got this idea and this impulse to act on the first thought i had and just you know writing that tweet without it i wouldn't have my channel back it also kind of brings to my head all of those lines about you know never giving up on your dreams or whatever this is so cheesy i'm sorry uh but yeah i feel like i didn't give up I was making plans to grow the second one and for some reason that worked in a way that I have my first channel back which is awesome I'm very grateful for that but I don't think that being grateful necessarily eliminates the fact that I'm still kind of freaking pissed I really hope that 
YouTube finally got their shit together and I really hope I'm not a sole example of things turning out right I really hope they're doing their best if my story doesn't show that everything is freaking possible then I don't know what does and I keep my fingers crossed for all of you who are struggling out there I really hope you get your channels back it's not easy but it is possible and I'm also kind of terrified how people will respond to this but on the other hand, there's no point in overthinking all of this. I just want to do my thing because finally I have no excuse not to, which I'm very freaking happy about. I was also thinking about what to do about that second channel because there are quite a few videos that you know I posted throughout those months uh, that are not on this channel and I don't think I will be transferring them because I don't know, they're just me being weird. So I decided to keep those videos on that second channel if something ever happens to me on this on on the other channel then i will get the chance to you know communicate with you more that's also a great place to invite you to my um, instagram ah uh, that's basic okay thank you guys so much for watching i love you more than i love coffee and i see you in the next one and life is your story so make it a good one bye guys